Now with a scene, uh, you can uh, upload it to uh, the servers in a few different ways. Uh, when you pause it, you get this uh, save version button. If you click on that, then you can save it locally as a new version. So if I just make a change, if I just do that, and let's save that as a new local version. You can give ver uh, add version notes of whatever you like, and you've got like line returns and whatnot to help you remember what you did in this version. So now when you go out and you scroll to the right using the left stick, you have versions and release. So these are all the versions, and this is the version that we just saved. So now if we go and uh, edit this again, uh, make the ground purple and save that version. That will be the latest quick save version in that list. So if we go to versions, now we can see the purple version is the, uh, the at the front of the list and this is the version we saved before. But then we can go to here and edit or play that version. So now we're editing the old version where the the ground wasn't purple. And then we can resave that version to be the latest version again. And whenever you uh, update something to be the latest version, it will use whatever's on the left of that list. So now we've got the uh, the non-purple version. If I updated it in the dream, it would have the non-purple version. If we go into the element again, the hexagon, and then pause and go to save version, then we have um, save as private, and we have that on all of the different kinds as well. Um, and you can set categories and tags and things like that. Uh, now, if you save it as private, it is uploading it to the servers. Um, something also is, if I make another one, so I've made another element, and now I'll import it into here uh, using the search. Go to My Creations, and I'll just bring it in. And now we'll save that. Uh, then we can save version and we can upload it but then it says we have to upload anything else that we've used in that scene so we've imported this thing so it needs to upload that in the same manner as uh, as we want to upload the actual object but we can also change change this to make it public and listed or unlisted and things like that um, so so you may have a list of a load of different things here so that you can upload them all at the same time easily instead of having to upload each of them separately cool so this is private now now let's go over to a scene so if you click on the uh, release this version then you can release it as playable or public um, if we go public then uh, yeah, so because this one is uploaded as private specifically, it says, and we imported it into this creation, it we we'll, we would have to upload this in the same way as the scene, and we can make it listed or unlisted, things like that. Uh, but what if we don't want to make this um, public and remixable? We can make it playable. Now, if we go playable then this can stay private as you can see here it can stay as a private uh, thing but because it's playable this scene is playable but no one can go into it and get the innards of it um, so it's not actually remixable so you can keep this private and still uh, publish the scene itself so now I can still go and play that scene even though it has a private creation in it and this um, applies also if I edit this scene and go looking for prizes. So prizes um, come in bubbles. I'll just show you what that looks like for the second. Uh, prize bubbles. So with a prize bubble, you can click on here and then just choose any item from the Dreamiverse, including private items that you've published. So if I go My Creations, I can choose this, which is private. And now that's in that bubble. And uh, when we normally when we run into it with our character or something then it'll pop and we'll we'll be able to access and use that creation 
in our own creations and then release release a scene as playable that includes that um that special creation so you find a lot of those in uh art's dream and things like that so if i added uh something from art's dream i think i've got character over here and bring in lance wing and if we try to publish that as remixable it says we can't because it contains private creations and click on that and it will tell us which creations they are um, but we can still make it playable because then people can't go in and remix and take out the those things that were marked as private but they can still play a game with those private elements in there and dreams can only be um, uh, released as playable not remixable uh, now there's also this green button the release button and that just goes into releasing it publicly either as uh, remixable or playable and that's the only difference there I'd like to thank Evil Key Mao, Hyper Dream Surfer, Ascendant Lizard and all of my other supporters for making this tutorial possible check out tapjars.com to find out how you can support me in helping dreams creators thanks for your consideration and I'll see you in the next one